Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're going to replace the ignition coil on this 97 Expedition, or one of the ignition coils. Uh, these coils Ford used on many uh, cars and trucks with either the four-cylinder, they used just one coil for a four-cylinder, um, or V8, uh, they used two coils. So um, this thing can fit anything from a two-liter four-cylinder to a 5.4-liter V8. Um, and the only tool you'll need is a uh, ratchet and a socket with an extension, a 7-millimeter socket. Only the location of the coil is going to vary uh, depending on what vehicle you have. Okay, so to replace this driver's side coil, first you need to kind of get your uh, air box, just kind of bring it up, move it out of the way. Okay, now that we got the air box out of the way, there's four 7 millimeter bolts here, one here, here, down here, and then back that you can't really see. Uh, you can see probably the top of my can of penetrant. I'm going to do the best I can to use this little red tube to spray some penetrant on all the uh, bolts under here and that will make them a little easier to come out. Okay, so I've run into a little bit of a problem here. You can see that uh, these two bolts came out, and actually my third bolt over here that you can't see is out. This bolt here, the head was so rusty it actually stripped. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take a marker, and I'm going to start with the cl one closest to me. Mark that as one, two, three. Okay, so make sure I got two marks there. One, two, three. And then the one without marks is the fourth one. Okay, that way I know, okay, the number one started closest to me and then clockwise around. Okay, so now I can unhook these. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to take my coil and unfortunately on a rusty old truck like this. It's kind of the only way. Okay, and what I did is I just broke that bolt. Okay, and I'll be able to put my, co my coil back on with three bolts. And not ideal, but it will hold it um, just fine. So hopefully when you're doing your truck, it'll all come apart easy. Uh, but if not, if you lose one bolt, um, it'll be okay. Okay, so I'm ready to bolt in my new one. I got a little bit of a problem here. Uh, this one um, bolts on on top here where our broken bolt went. So I can't quite get it there. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to put this clip on right here. And then I'm going to put the coil on top of it so it's pinched down in there. Okay. And then I'll start my bolts. I'll get these going and I'll tighten them up and I'll be all set. Okay, plug 
this in. And then these will kind of settle down right where they were anyways. There's my number one mark right close to me. Okay, that's got three marks on it. Two marks. Now we can start her up, make sure everything's running good. Put the air box back here. hope this helps you out. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.